Good morning. Um, okay, it's a little weird to see you all not arguing or whatever. Man, Mr. Manna said we can't have the garden anymore. Because someone's ratchet baby pets got on the loose. Okay, okay, I'm sorry you guys. Wait, what's going on? Okay, well you know how after the fire, I lost all of my bunnies. So when I went to Europe, I brought back some new cuter bunnies. Yeah, cute and starving bunnies. They ate every piece of everything in our garden. We've been trying to get new plants to grow for the past two weeks now, and they just won't. Gerardo can't even save us now. Like, what are we gonna do? Uh, what does that mean? Well, we learned how to test the soil pH in Miss Boston's class, and it's way too acidic for anything to grow. And it's all Lisa's fault. Her rabbits left us with desolate, barren soil. Well, you know, let this be a lesson learned that, yes, populations are affected by a lot of things. Random changes in the environment and the way that they interact with other populations. But there's one population on Earth that really has a huge yep, effect bugs, on all of that. Bugs. The insect population has been a menace to society, and I won't stand no, it No, it's clearly that. bugs, bunny, because what type of organism can destroy an entire piece of land full of plants that oh, fast? No, humans. Humans can do all that much faster than any bunny or and much more menacing than any insect will ever be. Humans engage in many activities daily that can positively or negatively impact the environment and affect the vitality of many populations, including our own. Some of these activities may seem harmless, but they aren't. We couldn't even grow the plants that y'all wanted inside our classroom because of the kudzu vines covering the window. Uh, what's that got to do with us? Well, the kudzu vines that you see all around town, they weren't here a century ago. Someone brought them here from China and Japan, just like the bunnies that Lisa brought here, which are actually called hares. These invasive species are non-native organisms that have potential to cause harm to the environment. So, if they would have stayed where they were, they wouldn't have eaten up our garden. And the nutrients in our soil wouldn't have washed away, leaving us with this acidic Hi. soil. I don't even need to spray for bugs anymore. They have nothing to eat out there anyway, so thanks, Lisa. First of all, what y'all not gonna do is blame me entirely because, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. McKinney, but those pesticides that he kept spraying on everything, that can't be good for the soil or the environment, right? You're absolutely right. The use of chemicals, or the overuse of chemicals, tends to have very negative effects on the environment. They can contaminate the water and food supply, causing the death of wildlife and plants, they affect soil pH, and many can contain CFCs, chlorofluorocarbons. These are chemicals that deplete the ozone layer, exposing populations on Earth to harmful radiation. But contrary to popular belief, this doesn't cause global warming. Okay, well, somebody should tell Mr. Manning that at least our garden isn't putting more greenhouse gases out into the environment. Well, hold on, you're not completely off the hook. The burning of fossil fuels isn't the only thing that puts greenhouse gases out into the environment. You know, that fertilizer that you brought in here uh, two weeks ago, it releases greenhouse gases on its own. Wait, what? No way. <laughs> Dang, double homicide. Boy, shut up. The emission of greenhouse gases causes the gaseous layer around Earth's atmosphere to thicken which can increase global warming and affect climate change. First of all, Mr. Manning didn't ban the garden because of any of that. He banned it because we were using too much water after school. What? The school uses much more water than we do during the day. Yes, and that's the problem. The whole neighborhood and the city overuses water. Now we're in a drought. The overconsumption of natural resources, so like overusing water, deforestation, mining for fossil fuels, harms the environment, causing rivers, lakes to shrivel up and 
the lack of trees and burning of those fossil fuels puts more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. None of this matters if Mr. Manning says we can't garden anyway, like we're wasting our time. Well, here's the most important part. When we started class, I told you humans can negatively or positively impact the environment. If you all could design a solution to reverse those things we've been discussing, I'm sure Mr. Manning would let you all continue the garden. Okay, well, first off, we're sending those rabbits back where they came from and cutting down the kudzu from our garden space. Okay, and you need to stop using that fertilizer. Okay, and you need to stop using those pesticides as well. There are natural fertilizers and pesticides we can use instead. We can save water the cafeteria may use during the day and start the water conservation campaign at school. Yeah, and my uncle uses mulch to like stop the plants from losing so much moisture, so maybe we won't have to water the plants so much. You need some moisture on your skin. You looking real ashy over there right now. Girl, I moisturize my skin daily. You don't know nothing daily? about my skincare. That's a lie. Uh, Lisa, you're That's the last person that should be talking to anybody about anything Excuse right me? now. Excuse me? Exactly. Nah, you know nobody... Nobody... <sighs> our actions as humans play a big role in our survival and the survival of other populations. This is because all living things depend on each other and the environment to survive. So. Think about your actions and what choices and activities can positively make an impact on our ecosystem. Because you can change it positively or negatively. As living things are vibrant and always changing to adjust to their new environments, you know, their garden actually may not be a loss after all. Wait, what? Okay, I'm ready to make it right. What could we possibly grow in this garden, though? There's nothing will grow in this soil. Well, I wouldn't say nothing, 